Tony and Jason are smooching in the living room. Get a room! Don't be such a jerk. Yeah, dude. I think you are a bit jealous since you aren't dating anyone. I am not jealous. As a matter of fact, I am talking to someone. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I haven't seen you on a date in several months. I met her online. Her name is Heather. Heather? Are you serious? You are totally lying, dude. Show us a picture of her. Troy shows Jason and Tony a photo of a beautiful girl on his phone. <laughs> dude, she is way out of your league. Stop hating. I am much better looking than you. I am surprised Tony even likes that ugly soul patch. Well, changing the subject, she looks familiar. What do you like about her? Trust me, Tony. You don't know her. She doesn't hang around in your circle. What's that supposed to mean? All I said is she looks familiar. Meaning if she is out of my league, she definitely isn't hanging out with you and Kat. You're such a jerk, Troy. What does she do for a living? She is a former beauty pageant winner. She's in med school and smart as heck. Ha! Then she is definitely way out of your league, brother. So when are we meeting this mystery person? I am glad you asked. She is actually coming over in a couple of hours to watch a movie. You can meet her then. You are inviting a girl over to your house on their first date and she said yes? Yeah, so? It's just not common. What if she is crazy or something? Well, you are crazy and Jason is with you. Okay, enough with the put downs. A couple of hours later, Tony comes walking out of the kitchen with a bowl of popcorn for the movie. I can't wait to meet this mystery girl. Tony, Jason, and Troy sit down and wait for the mystery girl. Tony falls asleep on the couch. I don't think she is showing up. Yeah, think? It's not cool being stood up. No call, no text, no nothing. Bro, I told you that she is out of your league. She probably has hundreds of men hitting her up online. She's not going to go with a dude that has a funny haircut and an outdated blue shirt. There are other fish in the sea. Dude, look at Tony. She is over there snoring loudly and drooling. Is that the best you can get? Jason and Troy look over at Tony on the couch as drool funnels out of her mouth. I heard that. You guys just don't want anyone else to be happy. What do you even know about this girl? Did you do a background check? Why are you asking so many questions? Mind your own business. The next evening, Troy receives a text from Heather. How are you, Troy? Sorry about last night. Something came up. But are you available to meet now? I'm down at the bar. Troy agrees to meet Heather. He quickly fixes his hair and heads down to the bar. At the bar, Troy sees a beautiful woman sitting alone. He walks up to her and introduces himself. It's Heather. He sits down at the bar stool next to her. Wow, you are even more beautiful in person. Thank you. You aren't so bad yourself. Troy and Heather end up having a great time. They really hit it off. After hours of talking and laughing at the bar, they finally head their separate ways back to their homes. Troy walks in the house, and Tony and Jason are on the couch watching a movie. Where have you been? I met with Heather. I was catfished. Wait, you mean she does exist and you saw her tonight? Yeah, she texted me last minute to meet her down at the bar. I was shocked when I saw her. I'm sorry, bro. So, was she uglier in person? Did she smell or something? I don't want to talk about it. Just as Troy starts to walk away. I wonder who that could be. Troy walks towards the door and it's Heather. Troy invites her in. Jason, Tony, this is Heather. Tony's and Jason's mouth drops open. Tony gets up to shake Heather's hand. Nice to meet you. You weren't what we had expected, but we heard so much about you. 
Yes, it's great to meet you, Heather. I am sorry to stop by, but you left your phone at the bar. I'm a regular there, and they called me to pick it up. I had your address from the other night, so I figured I would drop it off. Well, thanks for returning my phone. Well, I have to get going. I will talk to you later, Troy. She goes to give Troy a peck on the cheek and heads out the door. What the? Dude, I thought you said she stunk and was ugly. I never said that. You said that, you idiot. Troy, you said you were catfished. That was not what we were expecting. Yeah, bro. You straight up lied to us. Well, I wanted to keep it a secret. It's none of your business. I still think she looks really familiar, but I can't pinpoint where I've seen her. I don't like how she just showed up at your house, unannounced. I think she is a bit crazy. You really need to stop hating. We just want the best for you, Troy. What's best is you two staying out of my love life. Troy walks away. I think we should create a fake dating profile and see if we can find out more information on this girl. I don't know. Troy really wants us to stay out of it. When have I ever listened to Troy? They create the dating profile and find Heather's pictures. Let's start a conversation with her and see if we can get her number. The fake profile is a great looking guy with a great body and great career. When Jason and Tony start a conversation with Heather, she responds right away. They finally get her phone number and start to text her. They end up exchanging photos with the fake profile and Heather. Let's do a reverse image search. They take Heather's photo and conduct a reverse image search. Their mouths drop open. Local family burned to death. Girl, 11 suspected. Whoa! So 10 years ago, she was involved in this murder of her family? I kind of remember this story. I don't remember what happened. We have to dig a bit deeper on this girl. Just as Tony finishes her sentence, Troy walks into the room. Jason quickly closes the laptop. What are you two doing? Find out what happens in part two of the catfish date, the murder mystery. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe 